You know, it's another day that the Most High has made, y'all. And we all should be rejoicing and being glad in it. You know, the Most High woke you up this morning. Hallelujah. Allowed you, allowed you to uh, walk upon this earth with all your faculties in place, your body moving. You know, you give them the praise. Give them the glory. You know, because there's many people who, uh, who who died last night. They even died throughout the day today. But he kept you. If you're not, you've not yet sealed your testimony with him. You know, in other words, it ain't time, it wasn't time for you, it ain't time for you to go home. So, hallelujah. Most are still perfecting that which concerns you in the faith. Getting you ready. He'll get, make sure you're right before he takes you out. Hallelujah. You know, David said, you know, most I should perfect that which concerneth me. Hallelujah. You belong to him. You're not your own, so... Uh, so don't get mad at him when he, when he does work out his perfecting process in your life. Hallelujah. <laughs> God's good to us. Hallelujah. You know, if you know you look at this wicked world, saints, it's getting dark out there. Well, it's very dark out there. And um, the evil day is fastly approaching. We need to hunker down and just cling and cling harder to the king. And keep that, get that word in our hearts. And to strive to obey the Most High, even the more so. You know, living for Him and obeying His word. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Bless you, Brother Tommy. Oh, man. Praise Yah. All right, Brother, Z- Brother Josh, let's go to Proverbs chapter um, 6. Start at verse 19. You know, we had, you know, we had a beautiful day with the chicken butchering today, today too, saying. We, we, we knocked it out pretty fast. I don't think we beat our, talking about the scout, we didn't beat the record, but we, we came close. I think, it, I think it was like five hours or something like that, the, the record on that. But anyway, that's the most time we got food. Hallelujah. All right, let me go here, but Josh. Yeah, I can't. Thanks, all of your chat is working, but mine is not. Yes, I can't type in it anyway. Something's going on, but I don't want to refresh it because I don't want to. I don't know what'll happen if I if I lose a stream or not. So I'm just gonna see y'all in there, and I hope you guys can hear me. I guess that's the main thing. No, Hallelujah. Oh yeah. Okay. Proverbs 6, verse 19. Let's start verse 16. These six things doth the, doth the Yahweh hate, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, Feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the breath. You know, you look at that word discord, you know, in this verse 19, he that speaks lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. You know, you just think about that. Why would, why would somebody want to sow discord among the breath? I tell you people, this blog talk, that's really the only scripture I had in mind. That literally, this is literally the only scripture that the Holy Spirit that dropped in my spirit at first. He gave me a few more. I don't know how long we'll be, but however long we are, we are. And um, I've kind of just been meditating on that on that scripture today. And um, so, like, so why would someone want to sow discord among Brett? You know, because, you know, if you look at most of us, we all, i tell you what, like I'm in here in Elder Becker's office, right? And there's probably at least 20 messages on this board. It even has something typed up, I think, with past calls. But And all these people, everybody on the board, you know, looking for fellowship. They want to be amongst the breath sisters. You know, they want to have part of that, you know, have part of that, part of the sweet fellowship that we have. 
You know, there are different things written up here. I'm not going to read them all, read, read them, but, you know, think that they, these are, uh, these are the, uh, um, you could say his um, reasons for not letting some people come, what, what, his, what his notes he has on there, and reasons why, you know, to, to uh, make sure some people do get into fellowship. You know, this is part of, you know, the vetting process is on this board here, you know. Some of his notes that he makes as he deals with people and talks to them and discerns them. And you know why that, that happens? Why, why we had the vetting process? To make sure we can keep people from uh, coming in to destroy the fellowship, to come in and sow discord. Now, that wouldn't be none of you, would it? You know, we don't want to come in and watch the fellowship and sow discord, do we? And uh, but you know that's part of guarding the flock too. So you know, so Elder does a great job helping string calls and you know assisting Pastor Dowell in that you know in guarding the flock. But so, but why would someone want to come in so discord? You know, I mean, why 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 would you want to be that way? Why do you want to be that brother that comes in and so discord among the brothers? You know, being an abomination, being a devil. You know, how much do you love your brother if you come in and sow discord amongst them? Now, that, now, discord ain't somebody you having to rebuke somebody. You know, that, that means, you know, because you rebuke them, then you show them you love them. As long as you're doing it justly. But, you know, I'm talking to you holy remnant of Israel. You that love the most high, yeah. You know, and a lot of people watch this ministry. Watch the straight way. They watch Pastor Dow's videos. They're observing what straight way is doing. And I'll tell you what, let's go to. Um, I'm gonna go to this verse too. Hold on. But Josh, let's go to Psalms, chapter Psalms one thirty three, verse one. And it reads, the song of the decrees of David. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon Aaron's beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the model of Zion, for there the most I commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. But you know, David, you know, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And you know, here, you know, I, I, I don't know what it says to say. Y'all see that devil just left the chat, right? Person typing on all this mess. Trying to come in and throw some discord, huh? Didn't have the same spirit as us, though. That's why he had to leave. But anyway, hallelujah. You know, David said, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. I know it is a blessed thing, you know, living on this community and being in unity. You know, striving for one mind. Oh, you gave me the boot, Brother Josh? Hallelujah. I was looking at how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. So, well, good job. So, good job, my brother. Hallelujah. But, um, you know, we dwell together here in unity, striving for peace. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, because the land the most high has given us, the land that everybody got out there, and even in the home fellowships, 
And those of you who you know who don't have you know you live you know don't don't live on a community that type of thing, but y'all all gathering together, that's beautiful. Getting together in unity. We're all striving for the same goals. We got the same thing in mind. Hallelujah. We all want to serve the most high. We're all serving the most high in truth and in righteousness. There's nothing wrong with that. The most high's putting us heart in our hearts for us all to you know, to, to be one of this thing. And praise y'all. You know, we're going to serve them that way until the day we die. At least that's, at least that's how I am. I can't speak for everybody else, but that's, that's my heart. My heart is indicted and, and that good matter. And it's fixed on doing the will of the Father. These give me, putting my heart to what it is. To be with his people. To dwell with them. Hallelujah. But you know, we going back to you know, dwelling together in unity. Now you look you look you look at the work that's done in in, in the ministry. You know, amongst the communities. I mean, I'm just using that. You know, being able to not just, you know, love and work, but indeed, you know, brothers coming together from the different communities and home fellowships and and everything, and those of you who aren't even on, you know, even offland saints from all the different areas, you know, you come together with the Georgia, down there with the with Ella Rufus and the saints down there, building that, building that block building down there, went up to Goshen, doing that building. Some of y'all, y'all some of you got saints have come here, like we're building the tabernacle, you know, brethren helping out. And all the different communities that the work's, the work's getting done on. You know, that that's the... Brothers dwelling together in unity. I didn't hear no, hear no reports of anybody fighting while, they, while, the, while the brothers were gathered down there. You know, the, the testimony that Pastor and the Saints had, brothers down there, you know, sisters serving, good spirits down there. They're taken care of while they're down there. When other places they go with good spirits. And that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And that's showing the unity, the type of spirit pastors, you know, preaching to put forth in the whole ministry. And you see this. And you see the fruit of it, and plus, with the work getting done, and that, that's showing the love of the Most High and the, and the saints' heart, not just in the word, but indeed in doing the works. Not only that, they say while you're down there working, the brother needs prayer for healing or something, need deliverance while you're down there. You know, you got saints that, can, that are capable that can do that for you, and all those types of things. So, so it's a blessing to uh, be able to dwell together in you. But how about when the, you're the one that's throwing discord, though, amongst the breath? But you want to be that devil that wants to break the unity, that, that, that wants to be the, you're the one that wants to kill the fellowship, kill that pleasantness. You know, some of you saints have testified how good the spirit is when you come on the land or the different land. On some of the different homes that you get together. But who's that one that wants to come in and ruin it? That brother or sister that brings in that heavy spirit at times. Instead of getting yourself right before you come out amongst your brothers and sisters, you know, and, and killing, trying to kill folks' joy, get yourself together. Get before the most high. Get your wicked heart right. Then, then come out and be amongst your brothers and sisters. But you're not bringing down the fellowship with an unpleasant spirit. But, you know, but some discord happens to sold when when people don't get their way They're, or they want to show their uh, rebellion and get some orders or direction they've been getting, kicking against their authority. And that brother would be a or sister, manifesting their rebellion, showing how much an abomination they are according to Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6. So do we want to sow discord amongst our brethren? Or would we rather, you know, dwell in peace together? Let the love of the Most High that shed brought in your heart, you know, be manifest to your brothers and sisters. By, you know, by keeping yourself policed up. 
keep yourself in the love of Yah. Okay, well, let's go to Acts chapter 4. Now, this is not something, but this is something you've all have heard before, saints. We bring that new. But you know, over in Acts, the prophet said, I think it's Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah 53, the prophet said, oh, let, me, let me go there real quick. Let me make sure I don't misquote. No. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Now, who's believing the report of straightway? About the, you know, about the pastor preaching the message, come out of her and come out from amongst us. And be separate. Who's believing that report and doing it enough? Or being partakers of separating, coming out from amongst them. Believing the report of living in a living community, according to but when we get there, get there in a minute, Acts chapter 4. Can I tell you, it's beautiful living this way. I can get up in the morning, see my brothers and sisters who love y'all just like I do. You know, and also, just being able to raise the children this way. Not having to worry about them coming out of the house and there's a pedophile, pedophile right next door to us. Doggone. Transgender faggot across the street from us. And just some hell raising devil you know, living behind us. Having to worry about somebody trying to break in the house, that kind of thing. You know, just different things that are in the city lip. I mean, you know, so I'm grateful that, you know, my children can grow up and grow up in peace. And and safety, being amongst my brothers and sisters, you know, someone I love them enough to correct them when they need it. If I ain't around, mama ain't around, whoever. Just having that family, that tribal unit. So, so I'm grateful to the Most High to uh, to live this way, to be amongst the people of the Most High. Hallelujah. So I'm thankful for the fellowship. You know, and I know there are those that are outside who, who look in, well, this, 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 this. Whatever, whatever, you know, all they're, they're, they're murmurs, but they ain't doing, but they're not doing anything. You know, you look at the, you know, I, you look, I think I, I talked to the brother. Um, what was it we said? Um, you know, people want, they, you know, people talk about straightway, this and that. They may, they may say, you know, real cult, whatever, whatever they, the things they say about how we live together. But I'd rather live with my brothers and sisters obeying the word of Yah as opposed to living like them who say they love the Most High and don't obey His word at all. No, don't do nothing that the book says. They don't, they don't live a thing showing their testimony of Jesus pretty much false in that regard. You know, well, I love Jesus, but I don't, I don't love him enough to live with my brothers and sisters. I don't love him enough to not sow discord amongst my brethren. And in chapter two, Psalms one thirty three one. How can they ever have that testimony? We have had that scripture. Picture show you how he's living in one of the trailers here on the land. We have um, we had that scripture posted on one of the trees up the path leading up to our trail. Whenever you're coming up the hill, you'd always read that scripture. That, that scripture's there there to um, greet you on the path. And so people who don't want to obey the obey the word in that regard, they can't they can't say how behold how they can't behold. They definitely you can't share in this testimony. You can't behold and see how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Not come together every first day. Dwelling together for a couple of hours. In unity. No. Dwelling together. Dwelling together in unity. So let's let's read. Acts four verse thirty two. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart 
and of one soul, neither said any of them that all of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things come. And all things come. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Master Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, but as many as were possessors of land or houses sold them, and bought the prices of the things that were sold. And laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. So nobody was lack. Now, many folk are afraid to afraid, afraid to go that route, but that's that that's the pattern of the new new assembly or New Testament church, along with many other things that the assembly does. So. So these people were experiencing how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. This is the first assembly here. And the one part here, especially in the multitude of them that will believe were of one heart and of one soul, which we're still striving for daily. But having all things common, It was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. So don't, thanks, don't let the things within your own heart keep you back from from, from uh, striving to live community, and being amongst the saints. Yeah, it crucifies your flesh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful, too. If you get, that old man got to die anyway. Plus, that, that, that dwelling together closest to help you see things that, that are in you that need to be, uh, that need to be checked. They need to be crucified. Hallelujah. It helps you deal with your own selfish self. And bless the most high. Hallelujah. I tell you what, let's go to um let's Josh, let's go to um let me show me that right. Let's go to Matthew. Oh one second. Yeah, Matthew. Oh. Give me one second here. Let me make sure I've got the right verse here. Okay, let's go to Matthew chapter 19. Starting at verse... On the verse, um, let's say verse, verse twenty-seven. Plus, let's go back and read all these things in context, please. Then Peter answered. Well, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And of course, early in the chapter, Jesus was talking to the talking to the rich young ruler. And of course, that man went away softly. And because what, what was his question? And behold, one one came and said unto him, "Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may inherit eternal life?" And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There's none good but one. That is Yah. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. And that moment right there cuts off a lot of folk. And the commandments done away. He said unto him, He said unto him, Which? And Jesus said, Thou shalt not do no thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not, thou shalt not bear false wit, honor thy father and thy mother. And I shall love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? 
Was Jesus say to him? Say to him, you'll be perfect. Go and sell that what you have. Give to the poor. And I shall have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. But the, but the young man heard that saying. He went away soft, but he had great possessions. And then Jesus said to the disciples, But I said to you, the rich man shall hardly, that the rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I said to you, it's easier for a camel to go to the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yah. Why? Because he loves his riches. He loves the things of this world more than he, more than he loves Yah. He ain't giving it up. It's like the poor man nowadays don't, 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 ain't going to give up nothing either. You, know, you want a, you want, you want a uh, coffee cup. You can't, you can't forsake that for Jesus. Nope, take my, I ain't giving it up. Rich man ain't give up his millions, and the poor man ain't giving up his dollar. You know, that's their mighty one. That's what they love. That's their treasure. But the Malton Rust, Rust is going to corrupt. But you know, that man, man went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. You know, his possessions possessed him. Instead of him possessing them, they possessed him. But the disciples heard it. Who then? Well, not when the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, "Who then can be saved?" And they said, "Well, how are we gonna get in? How are we gonna make it?" Jesus held them and said to them, "With men, this is impossible, but with Yah, all things are possible." So, who will make you give up anything? Who's gonna, who's gonna convict your corrupt heart? You lay down your riches if you're the rich man or the poor man. Where does that conviction come from? Got, got to be the rule that's going to do the conviction. Once the word goes out, once the seed is sown, you know, most high, you know, one man plants, another walks. But who gives the increase? The most high does. Of course, the word says he that wins souls is wise. When so the word goes out, the conviction takes place. That's how a lot of us end up where we end up. We stop resisting the Most High's will. We were able to receive the engrafted word, which is able to save our souls. We were able to humble ourselves and obey the Most High. Do the things that we wouldn't do. If you had told me, oh, well, I've been on this land for 23 years, 24 years. If you had told me, Forty years ago, I've been living on a community, listening to a preacher. I told you, you lost your mind. But when the word of truth came to me, when I was in darkness and dead in my trespasses and sin, the Most High had mercy on me, called me out of darkness into His marvelous light, and set my feet on the path that He wanted me on, directing my way in obedience to Him. Guess where I ended up? Hallelujah. End up doing what, what I never thought I'd be doing. But hallelujah. I'm grateful that most high had mercy on me. That's all I can say. Just like he had mercy on you. But really, Sister Brittany, you out there listening on the phone, listening later, that most I had mercy on you, called you out of darkness took you away from Satan's king and put you into the king of his dear son. Wrote your name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Let's be great to the Most High. And make sure we're striving to please him in all things. Obeying his will. Doing his will. Getting that word off the pages. Getting the word off the pages and actually living them in our lives. Making our life a living sacrifice daily unto him. Hallelujah. Being just like Jesus, not my will, thine will be done, Father. Hallelujah. You know, and that, that, that's, that's what's happening in a lot of ways out there for us folk who uh, don't want to live communally, communally, if I can say it like that. We don't want to obey the most high in any kind of way. How can live in community or just living with somebody, having somebody else live with you in your own house, getting rid of that selfish way and and just allowing allowing uh, yourself to become a servant even to your brothers and sisters in, in any way that you can be. I think that pleased the most out of you just living selfishly. 
Hallelujah. Let me go back here. Then Peter, Peter answered, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? What are we going to have, Jesus? What, we, we left everything. What we got? What we going to get? What's our prize? What, what, what's our reward? Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, you also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Now that ain't us, brothers and sisters, that's the apostle. It ain't everybody sitting on the twelve thrones. It was only twelve, but whoever it is, it ain't, it ain't us. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wives, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit an in eternal, everlasting life. Think over the book of Mark, it says, with persecution. The many that are the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. That's so all right now. If it wasn't for the vision that the most I gave past it all, we wouldn't. And I could, you know, the part, the last part here, or land. You know, we got lands in, in Kentucky, Indiana, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, many places to dwell our head. When we go to a city, we can inquire who's worth. We know. I can go to, we go to Clarksville. Brother Steve's worth. Brother Ron's worth. Brother Ron's in the house that he, you know, he's ha having up there with the saints in Clarksville's worth. Pastor Daniel's work. Pastor Corey's work. And, um, where was that? Where, where's Pastor Corey at? Miss, um, Kent. Or Missouri. Y'all get it. Elder Mitchell's work. Elder Brent's work. Elder Rufus' work. Brother Jonathan's work. And all in all, all the saints that run these homesteads and homes that saints can go lay in. Go to other house. Go, 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 from, go from house that they're welcoming. Down there in North Carolina. Everywhere. Hallelujah. Y'all get it. So we, so we have land. And, and in fact, we quote that scripture, build houses and dwell in them. Great ways building houses. So we got an example. There's a report. If y'all think there's people out there, if you can believe the report, this is the vision. We can't, it can't be done. So, so straight away, it's taking away the excuse. Well, we can't, can't nobody live together. No, we can live together. It's only if you're willing to do it. Oh, but you'd rather go out and sow discord amongst the brethren. Well, I can't live with so-and-so because he, I don't want to submit myself to, um, to Pastor Dan. I ain't listening to what he said. So you're going to spit another brother in, want to rebel against the pastor there, Pastor Dow, Pastor Corey, Elder Mitchell, Elder Rufus, Elder Chris, and so on. Brother so-and-so running this house, whatever. So you can't submit yourself like the word says. Submit yourself one to another. We said, yo, y'all need to be subject. No, he, he, no you just going to sow discord and uh, spit poison and be a damn viper. How about you just obey the will of the most time and just uh, submit yourself? Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. But no, you want to be the one that wants to break that. You want to kill that fellowship. And that's what many folk out there are jealous of this fellowship that we have. They can come, we, we, you know, the call can, calls can go out from different communities. Hey, we need help building this, doing this, whatever, whatever. Pray for rep sisters coming to help out. We need help, help harvesting the garden. Boom, folk come, you know, on the land. The saints live off the, off the land. Boom, they come help help out with harvesting the garden, stuff like that. Just whatever. Rather than come help with the, from the jobs at times. So there's nothing wrong with that. Well, if they need help. You know, brother broke down. Hey, um, call, if y'all want to say, Elder Beck, I'm broke down. I need some help. Can somebody come help me? Boom. Somebody come out there, come out and help. Or whatever. You know, there's different places. You know, we all, you know, we're our brother's keepers. We are our brother, we are our brother's keepers. But some brothers don't want to be kept because they rather so discord. Why? Because they're wicked. Just like Cain. They'd rather kill you. But, hallelujah. We're going to serve the Most High. 
And those that have the clean hearts, right spirits, we're all striving to live together in unity. You know, and one thing, too, a written book of James, what is your power to do good? With your hand to be able to do good when you not do it? Because you withhold that. If you withhold doing good to your brother and sister, what, what, what's wrong with you? There's something to think about there. So, you follow, if you follow your hand to do good, why, why not do it? Love your brother and sister more than yourself. Esteem them higher than yourself. Hallelujah. All right, I'll tell you what, let's go to, uh, yeah, okay, hold on a minute. Let me read all that. But it's nice having, having a place to go and lay my head if I need to, not if I go somewhere. Pastor goes somewhere. You come somewhere. <laughs> you know, when you say, come to the feast, aren't you grateful that we got that there's enough land to hold you all, to host you all? When you come, you come to straight way on Pentecost, Tabernacles, Passover. Hallelujah. Or when you gather on Sabbath, there's a place to place to go. Thank you, Brother Josh, for that scripture. Hallelujah. Hold on to read it. Therefore to him that knows to do good and doeth it not. To him it is sin. So it's holding good is sin. To you that that do it. To me if I do it. So we should we should know. To do good, we should be willing to do the good that that we're able to perform and do at any given time that's required of us. If you don't do it, to you with a sin. Now I know it says to him, "Well, make it personal, you, me." Like for instance, let's say somebody asks for deliverance. Well, I ain't got time to help you, brother. I don't want to help. You. Now it should be that I don't want to help you. I should be willing to help if you ask. Anything. Deliverance. Prayer. Whatever. Take not the trash. I don't care. You know, we should be willing. In Philippians 2, 3, the other one was James 4, 17. Philippians 2, 3, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let, let each esteem other better than themselves. Let each esteem others better than themselves. So don't be so damn selfish. But you live on the community or don't. Putting somebody else first. You know, what, what did Jesus say? By this, you all men know that you're my disciples. By the love that you don't show to one another. But by the love that you don't have for one another. How can, how, how can you obey the commandment when it says, love your neighbor as yourself? Uh, oh, oh, well, we know why. Because you hate yourself. That's why you can't esteem somebody better than yourself. That's why it's easy to break the commandment because you don't love, you don't love, you don't love yourself, so you damn sure can't love your neighbor. And you, don't want, you definitely don't want to live communally because you don't want to get called out for it if you, if you are living like that, if you are being like that. You don't want that righteous rebuke to get you back on straight street. And what's the word say? That they hate him that rebuke is in the gate. You know, an open rebuke better than secret love when you got to get it. When... And you damn sure don't want to correct yourself at any given time to keep you all in the wicked way. But hallelujah. Y'all's good. So let's make sure all men know. Let's make sure that all men know that we are all his disciples. My disciples, you said, John thirteen thirty five. By this, all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another, and not just in word, but in deed, because they're gonna see it. If they ain't love, they just. They just read it. That they, they're going to be manifest. They're going to see it. There's evidence. There's evidence to it. You know, um, that faith. 
Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Just like this love. It's manifest. You're going to see the evidence of it. You know, evidence, you go to a court case, well, they, you got to bring forth evidence. You accuse somebody or if you're defending somebody, you're the, 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 uh, the prosecution has evidence and the uh, defense has evidence. So a lot of people, ministries, whatever, folks say, well, I love my brother, but you, you don't do nothing for him. I remember um, a lady I used to work with some time ago, young young woman. She told me about going to Joe Osteen's church. You know, that, you know, that's a mega church. And all the people got, you know, you know, of course, some people got, you got some high rollers going to that church. And uh, she told me, like, of course, a lot of the poor people, you know, they say they're driving, you know, you know, people driving by them and escalades and all kinds of other cars, right? You know, they, they, you know they, and some of them even know they're going to go to that church and they, they break down, have to pull off to the side of the road, some insane. Hope brothers and sisters see them for drive on right by them, buddy, and they still they might need the car off to the side, walk to church. And, you know the people the people know they're going, but yet no nobody off them a ride. You know this girl was telling me this. You know of course they seem like they you know have to go walk like half a mile or a mile or whatever to get there, all hot and sweaty or cold and freezing because it's cold or whatever. You know depending on the weather condition and uh and um it's just a sad testimony. You know, because these people love their brother or sister, would you not stop stop and give them a ride? Manifest that love of y'all? Why well, I had a room in my car. We'll go jump off your family and come back and pick them up then. You know, something like that. You know, people got you know excuses on whatever. But anyway, let's just make sure we ain't doing that. Let's make sure we keep ourselves in the love of y'all. Manifesting the love. In the physical realm. Hallelujah. All right, let's go to, um, oh, let, me, let me get there first. One second. Let me show you the right verse. You know, and, and, and like Jesus said, hey, you got to have lands and homes and well, all the different things Jesus said we'd have after, when we follow him. Houses, homes, children, you know, all those things. And of course, more important, most important part of it, eternal life in the world to come. But don't forget, we ain't gonna get out of this unscathed with persecutions now. So don't just think you're gonna you're gonna walk in and not have to suffer anything. Because what's the word say? If we suffer with him, we will reign with him. Hallelujah. And then nobody, and of course, no one wants to suffer. You don't want to suffer your big toe getting getting uh, stuck. You don't want to suffer having to get up in you know, the community, getting up and being that sister that has to make breakfast in the morning. You don't want to suffer being that brother that got to, you know, start a fire for the for the for the shower house or the dining hall. You don't want to suffer being a, <laughs> you know, just name it, being the one out there holding the garden while everybody else still sleeps when they should have been out there at six o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. Proverbs 16, 6. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. And, you know, living community, I can say, hey, we got, I got a goodly heritage. My, my sons, my poor sons, if they continue on this, they got a goodly heritage for them. This, this, this will be their home. Part of the inheritance, they, they, you know, they, they keep serving y'all. They got a place here. Yeah, I can tell you what, my family, um, of course, you know, my, my, my natural father, I, I, I didn't have no inheritance from him. And my daddy, I don't think he got anything from his, his father. If he did, I mean, he had, my, my granddaddy had land. And I'm not sure um, if when he passed, if my, father got anything from that because you know I, I'm, not, I'm not sure of that but I know my grandfather had some land I know he at least had maybe three or four acres and um so I don't know if, we, if there was any inheritance to be had from that or well, just one of my father's sisters because uh, my my grandfather lived with his with my father's 
with my father's sister. So I'm not sure where she was in the packing order, but she was the youngest or the oldest. I can't, I can't tell you. But my aunt Beth, you know, she, she he lived with her. So when she when he died, you know, she took you know she got his house, or um, or that she sold it. I you know, I, I don't know now. I can't, can't tell you. But so I don't think so. I don't know if my father got his inheritance or if his sister took it or you know whatever. So, but anyway, I don't have nothing to pass down to my children from the from the Bell family. We just say that. And I have some other uncles who had a lot of, lots of land. And, you know, I'm sure my cousins out there probably got their inheritance from their father. They, they, they had property out there. And I know I had one uncle who had a, who, who was low. My uncle um, Merle. And he died. Um, and I, well, yeah, he died. And I, and I know his um he had, he had one daughter, so he he didn't have any sons. And my and my cousin I can't tell you her name now. Anyway, my cousin she had um either a son and a daughter or two sons, whatever. So so everything my uncle uncle had, I know was gonna go to you know, go to his daughter and then go to his you know, go to his grandchildren. But I ain't worried about that that earthly inheritance. My my the inheritance we got in Yah been living together. I ain't you know, if I die I know my family will be taken care of. Hallelujah. So, so I have a good inheritance because that, that's the, the way of our people, what we do. You know, we know the widows are taking care of these in straight way. As long as they, as long as they maintain righteousness and want to submit themselves to the ministry. Hallelujah. Like we see our righteous sister Malia doing. Current, you know, the most current widow. So praise y'all for that. So, hallelujah. I do thank y'all that we um, have this pattern of life to live after, which is according to the word, and we're all striving for it in a different capacity, homestead, community, and everybody's, you know, everybody's doing what they can do. And I do, you know, bless the most high for that. You know, striving to be one mind and one spirit. Tell you what, let's go to... um. Psalms 23. And make no mistake, saints. I, 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 trust me, I understand living community or live, just li- living in the homes together can be challenging to you. Nobody, Jesus didn't promise it was going to be easy. But you think about it. And I, I grew up with a family. I had five brothers and sisters. Two brothers and three sisters. And, 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 I, and my family, I mean, my sisters would fight like cats and dogs. They're like, good Jesus. Uh, my, my brothers and I, you know, we might, you know, get into it here and there, probably once every six months. Well, my, my, my little brother and I were teenagers together. You know, we used to we, we used to go at it quite a bit, but but still, even with that, our sister still blew us all the wood, all, all the water with that, just with all the hell they were raised in the house. I mean, you couldn't go a week without them just going off on each other, cussing and fussing. <laughs> Police can call when mom and dad went home and. It was, just, it was just a mess. And, and, but, you know, we, we, we'll endure that living with our natural family. But the least bit of drama that come up with the with the spiritual family, you know, we, we want to keep the traces. Oh, well, y'all ain't in it. No, y'all in it. That's why he gave us law. Y'all thought he set up, you know, shouldn't be named amongst us. When the Gentiles act, we shouldn't be acting like that or the heathen act. But if and however... When things happen, we got to deal with it. Don't let that discourage you. Don't let it cause you to fall out of the way. Because you heard two brothers arguing because they're stupid. The sister's getting into it because they're acting stupid. Hallelujah. Don't lose your faith. You continue to dwell in the, dwell in the land and have a pleasant spirit. Even if somebody ain't arguing. You know, you, you got that quiet ride going on. You... And you quiet all to yourself, raising hell on the inside. But let the peace of y'all rule in your being. Hallelujah. Oh, what's the, okay, let's go to Psalms chapter 23. Psalm of David. Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Yahweh forever. You know, David acknowledges the most high as his shepherd. That's his testimony of. No, the most high is his provider. His father. Hey, you make me to lie down in green pastures. You know, you, you know we're sheep. We've got green pastures. Green pastures are good places to eat from. You know, we let our cows go out. They see that green grass after they've been, been in a been the field they've eaten now. Boy, they can't wait to get get to the to the green field to get some more nourishment. You know, to fill their belly. You know, they, they're happy to go there, too. And they got clean water to drink. Hallelujah. So I thank y'all for the passion that is given to me. You know, a place to, lay, a place to dwell, dwell in my head. You know, because the Son of Man had not a place to lay his head. You know, the fossils got old holes. The birds in the air had their nest. But Jesus didn't have a place to lay his head. But, you know, we got, you know, I got a bed, a house to sleep in, a bed, to, you know, a house to dwell in, a bed to lay on. And I'm thankful. Hallelujah. You know, on this community, if I go to another community, I have a place to place to uh, sleep there too. So the most I'm good to us, saints. He's taking care of us. He's feeding us, leading us, and providing providing for all our needs according to His riches and glory. Hallelujah. So you know, let's read, let's read, let's look at verse um, three in Psalms uh, twenty-three real quick. You know, I was looking at it in a different, um, a couple of different translations. So uh, I'm gonna read it from uh, the Common English Version. And you refresh my life. You are true to your name and lead me along the right path. Another version he has converted my soul. He has led me on the path of justice for his own name's sake. And this one, in the scriptures version, he turns back my being, he leads me in, in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. So, you know, so the Most High, he has your soul's well-being in, in, in his mind. The path of righteousness, you know, the Most High is not going to lead you to where he don't want you to be. So let's be thankful. So for those of us who live in these communities, let's make sure we keep the right spirit. The Most High led you here, brought you here, brought you there. He wants you there. And like, and like Pastor's always quoted with, um, I'll leave brother, 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 yes, sir. Without him, we are nothing. Can't do nothing without him. Jesus said, without me, you can't do nothing. So hallelujah. You know, we can't dwell together without him. Without his spirit dwelling in us, we'd be like my natural family, raising head. So hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Spirit that he put, he placed in us. That governor he's given us. Hallelujah. Say one thing. What was it? Uh, Lost my train of thought, but hallelujah. But most high, he, you know, hey, he definitely blessed us, so let's make sure we definitely, definitely thank him when we thank him day when we see, see and we behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And let's strive to make that unity strong. Strive, to, strive, strive harder for the one heart and the one mind, one soul. So the most high can be glorified. So he can make his power known in the earth through us. You know, because he's hid his treasure in the earthen vessel. And that earthen vessel is you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
All right, thanks. Well, I do thank y'all for being with me tonight. Um, I do bless you all. I'm going to uh, play us a song. Hold on. But y'all remember, keep the men of y'all in prayer. Men of y'all, Pastor Dahl, Pastor Corey, all the elders. And make, and make definitely, most definitely, pray for one another so that you may be healed. You know, of course, but the words say, confess your fault. Don't be so proud. You, you want to get healed? You got some things to confess? Find a trusted brother or sister to confess to. And get healed. Receive from the most time what you need. And that's part of us dwelling together. We can go. You got somebody you can go to. If you're 100 miles apart and you got somebody to talk to, what you going to do? That's part of, That's what disobedience to the word, it, it, it brings things available to you that, that wouldn't be available to you if you weren't, weren't uh, in fellowship. Hallelujah. Well, saints, I do love you all. And don't forget to keep your warfare prayers up, binding and loosening, breaking curses. So just, you know, stay on the cutting edge. Hallelujah. And definitely keep the praises going, too. Making songs and melodies to the most time in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do love you all. Thank you for being here tonight for the fellowship. And I'll see you all the next time I'm up. Shalom. Let me know if y'all can hear something, Saints. Zero state. Zero. Oh. Okay, so I'm trying to play for y'all past that song, the Goshen hit song, praise them. So if you guys can go to uh Petway Goshen site and um YouTube page and listen to it. Anyway, bless you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We can get lost in this moment, praising Yah all the time. We could get lost. Lost in this moment, lost in this moment, praise him with the temple and dance, praise him with the sound of a trumpet, praise him. Let everything that have breath praise Yahweh, praise his name, his holy name. Choose the way of your truth From your judgments I won't part And I shall keep your law, yes And I shall observe them with my whole heart I choose the way of your truth mm-hmm. From your judgments I won't part And I shall keep your law, yes and I shall observe him with my whole heart Praise him with a temple and dance Praise him with the sound of a trumpet Praise him Let everything that I breath Praise Yahweh Praise his name His holy name his name, His holy name. Your statues have been my song. Tell me to keep them all the day long. Teach me your good judgments, for I believe your commandments. Your statues have been my song.
song. Tell me to keep them all the day long. Teach me your good judgments. For I believe your commandments. Holy, 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 Praise Him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise Him. Let everything that I pray praise Yahweh. Praise Him with a timbrel and dance. Praise Him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise Him. Let everything that I pray praise Yahweh. Uh-oh, look at him looking.